All right, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to take down the Ravager in the Ravager's Lair. This is the world boss in Yesha, one of the potential world bosses. He's actually a really fun fight. I will say this, uh, there are a number of ways this fight could go based on the decisions you made. If you revived the dough, if you killed the dough, if you decided not to do anything to the dough. What I'm showing here is him at his strongest. So this is if you don't revive the dough, but you also don't kill the dough. You just attack the Ravager. And that way, halfway through the fight, he will consume the power of the dough and get stronger and unlock new moves to his moveset. So he has two phases. So this is him at his strongest. And that's what we're going to be talking about here in this video. So when you first walk in, this is the first half of the fight. It's pretty basic, actually. He has uh, a few moves. One is just a downright charge like that. Just a straight up charge. And then a two swipe attack that he does. He, and see that he's doing them in rapid succession here. That was three different moves that he has in his uh, skill set. So one is just a lunge, uh, which is a long distance attack just to get up to you. If that hits you, he will follow it up with more damage. Don't let it hit you. Uh, I actually used my challenger skill later in this video, later in this fight, because I let that attack hit me. Hang on, my wife's calling me. All right, bye-bye. Sorry, when the wife calls, I answer. Anyways, so he's, those are three different attacks, the lunge, and then the dual swipe, 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 and there's a big wind up on both of those, don't dodge early or they'll both hit you, right? Wind up, swipe, swipe, so dodge, dodge, you'll be fine. The third thing he did there was this uh, jumping attack where he'll lunge at you and do a backflip backwards, so just dodge at the point of contact. All of his moves in the first phase are actually really simple. That attack there where he's going to crouch down and put his claws in the ground, he's going to send out a shockwave that will break pillars. Uh, and it will also, this right here, boom. So you just dodge when it gets to you. You don't want to dodge right when he does it unless you're right up in his face like I am because I'm using a shotgun. But if you're further away, you want to wait for the wave to get to you. Now, he also does this attack where he's going to shake off these red orbs. It's going to hatch into about three of those rolly spiky guys that you encounter in Yasha. So they don't have much health at all. So you want to take them out as quickly as possible. And I try to use my secondary weapon to do that because that's going to give me uh, long gun ammo when they die. A lot of times they'll drop red long gun ammo for me. So I use my secondary weapon to take them out. See, there's two bricks over here. Now, here we go. He's upset. He's consumed the doe's power. Now there's this red mist on the ground. It doesn't hurt you, but it just lets you know that the things, things are amping up. One thing you have to look out for is when he breaks those pillars, it can be visually very obstructive. It can block your view of his windups and tells. So I try to actually give the, the pillars a wide berth, except for one specific move he does. This one. If you stand behind a pillar, he's going to do this thing where he spins around in circles super, super fast. He creates this like whirlwind effect that's going to pull you in. If you stand behind a pillar, you have nothing to worry about. If you're far enough away, far enough away, it won't pull you in. But if you are very close to him, let me give you a bit of advice. If you're close to him when he starts that attack, he's doing his spinny thing, it will time out. You can't interrupt. At least I haven't been able to interrupt that attack yet. But if you're close and you get sucked in, do not sprint. What you want to do, because that's going to chunk away your stamina, you'll run out of stamina before he finishes that attack. You'll run out of stamina and get pulled in and take a ton of damage. You don't want to get pulled into the middle of that attack. What you do is you just constantly walk in the opposite direction of him, obviously. You're trying to get out of it. But what you want to do is dodge roll, walk until your stamina refills. Dodge roll, walk until your stamina refills. If you just do that cadence, you uh, you won't get pulled in far enough to get hit by that attack. So you might have to like dodge, dodge to get enough distance. And then after that, it's walk, dodge, walk, dodge. And just let your stamina keep topping itself off while he's sucking you in. And you'll be okay. Now he's put his claws into the ground. He's going to send a shockwave out. I try to dodge towards it. Anytime there's like a, a directional attack, you want to dodge towards it. That way you don't get hit on the tail end of it. Like that. Exactly that. That is a, a big mistake on my part. I dodged away from the, uh, the shockwave and ended up getting hit by the tail end of it. Now he has another move during this phase that it, it will kill you. It is just, if you get caught in it, it'll kill you. He does this roar sometimes, which will stun you. So I'm going to take out the roly pulleys. This attack here will kill you. I had to ignore, I had to take a hit by this uh, little roly pulley because I needed to get away from that. He's going to do it again, so I'll show it to you again. But that attack will kill you. What he does 
is he starts this big wind up and you'll see the ground start to glow here it is so see the, the ground is pulsing sprint away from it and see how there's these pulsing shockwaves he's howling and there's these pulsing red shockwaves if you're in it it's continuous damage you can't dodge it okay you can't dodge it you will just die so when he starts doing that you hear this swelling sound sprint in the opposite direction just sprint if you're on the very tail end of that radius when he starts the howl you can dodge out of it and miss the continuous damage but when he starts that attack don't stay up close to him because you will die sprint in the opposite direction and just try and get away from it it has a pretty small radius so see i'm outside of it and it's not hitting me i think he does it one more time Here he is, he's doing it again. He's charging, he's swelling, and I'm just sprinting out to the edges of it to get outside of it. And then here, <laughs> I'm gonna do something real dumb here in a second, right? Where I thought he was dead, and I just stood there, and I took an attack that I didn't need to take. So, look at his health, it's like, he's doing this swelling thing again, so I'm backing on out of it. the mod on him and i think he's gonna die here in fact i see his health bar hit zero and i think it's done and then i just let him attack me but he bleeds out anyway so we both die i respawn the crystal but i got all the drops so he dies i die but i've got everything kind of a silly way to end that fight but it, also lesson learned <laughs> just always dodge ryan always dodge me i'm ryan i'm i'm talking to myself but anyways, that's the Ravager fight. Okay, it's really not too bad. Um, it, as long as you don't do something stupid like I did at the end. But it all turned out okay anyways. But if you do the fight that way, you'll also get the uh, Crimson Membrane. You can take that back to Ward 13 and craft the Merciless, which is a uh, intense bleed long gun. Really cool gun. So best of luck on taking the Ravager out for yourself. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like to let me know. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.